Oh hey there guys, just thought I'd bring you a quick video again as I said, and render settings this time, and project settings for Sony Vegas. So we load up Sony Vegas, we drag our clip in as usual, we edit it how we want, obviously, but first what we need to do is we need to go to the um, project settings, and we go for video, we go 1024 by 768, 15 frames per second. I don't know if that comes up automatically, but if it doesn't, just follow me. Width 1024, height 768, field order, non progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio 1.4568 PAL DV widescreen, output rotation 0, original, frame rate 15, multimedia, stereoscopic 3D mode off, pixel format 8 bit, full resolution rendering quality, good, motion blur type, Gaussian. The interlace method, none, and then untick the next two bottom boxes. Audio, st um, master buzz mode, stereo, then you want to go number of stereo buzzes, zero, sample rate in hertz, 44100, bit depth, 16, resample and stretch quality, good. Ruler. SMPTE drop 29.97 frames per second video ruler start time 0000000, 000 beats per minute 120 beats per measure 4 note that it gets 1 beat quarter summary nothing in there audio keep that the same and then once that's done once you've edited your file and then you go file render as and W save as type WMV template go to default and then click custom on the right um, on the first tab or the audio tab tick include audio mode quality VBR format Windows Media Audio 9.2 attributes VBR quality 98 48 kilohertz stereo VBR for the mode you want v CBR on the next tab video mode CBR format Windows Media Video 9 image size high definition 1280 by 720 pixel aspect ratio 1 frame rate 25 pal seconds per key frame 4 oh, then tick overrate default compression buffer seconds 3 video smoothness 94 bit rate I've got internet slash LAN ticked and then you skip the index slash summary, go to project and go video rendering quality best stereoscopic 3D mode use project settings click OK and then you save it and it'll start rendering now I could wait for this to render but I'm not going to I'm just going to stop it and let's say once it's um, we'll close that in load up handbrake now let's say that um, let me just grab a file. Let's say that this is rendered, which it says it is. So drag it into Handbrake, or you can go Source, Video File, find it there. Probably the easier way for most people. Destination, Browse. Let's say I want to save it to the desktop. Click Test, click Save. Video. If the video file is not about 400, I'll go for 150. If it's about 200, 300, I'll go for 100. If it's 200, I'll go for 50. So let's say this is 200, I'll type in 50. Click start and it'll compress it. And it'll go MP4 format as well. Um, then you close that down. Load up the internet and go to YouTube. We now click upload and we upload it. By clicking there, click, click the video file and upload. There you go. I want to thank you for watching this video. And as Toby says, do 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 subscribe. Outro of darkness, then redness, then whiteness. Go Toby. See you guys. Please subscribe to my